This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. The New Providence Sanitary Landfill is now the New Providence Ecology Park. Ownership of the new park is a combination of Providence Advisors and Waste Resource Management Group. And according to Chairman Ken Kerr, the new EPA-approved standard of cap and cover, which the new owners are implementing at the park, reduces the risk of fires and increases the manageability of a fire should one occur. This is required as we receive the waste on a daily basis we cover it an adequate amount of uh, top soil or cover. That way, the oxygen content, the gas buildup that we use, or the fires, the temperature, daily basis, the levels in one spot, the in another area. It's a very efficient, tested method that's used in North America. Now, as a number of landfill fires were rumored to be as a result of arson, Mr. Kerr says that's being addressed. Well, um, we have a security expert in the form of public science. We have a security expert in the form of tell you that we this is a new day in terms of the operating protocol, in terms of the security details. We have not as many physical persons on the ground, but provides The entire project is pegged at an estimated $40 million. The park covers some 57 acres rather of land and has employed some 52 Bahamians. Environment Minister Ramal Ferreira said this move was a major thrust in the government's thrust to responsible waste management. Three important things that we look for coming out of this process. The first, obviously, is the remediation and improvement of this site. That is important in a way that's profitable for both sides and the people. Secondly, it's the transfer of skills, knowledge, technology, ability to the Bahamian staff at every level. But the most important ingredient in all of this is the betterment of the lives of every single Bahamian that lives on this island. Police are looking for the person who shot and wounded a man now fighting for his life in hospital. The culprit was reportedly on Straw Flower and Robinson Roads just before 1 a.m. when a gunman opened fire in his direction before running off. At last report, the victim was in critical condition. 40-plus Haitian nationals found guilty of illegal landing. The first group of six were arraigned before Magistrate Carolyn Vote evans on Wednesday. In this case, five of them were sentenced to one month at the Bahamas Department of Correctional Services. Carrie Nelson was remanded until next week pending documentation. This based on Nelson's claim that he was born in the Bahamas. Just yesterday, another 30 Haitian men and seven women over in Inagua were folding of the same charge and ordered conditional discharge. Early deportation was recommended. Captain Dwayne Hutchinson's no stranger to the Bahamas Maritime Authority, but for the next three years, he'll serve as its director and chief executive office. Congratulating Captain Hutchinson on his elevation was Transport Minister Renward Wells, who touted the wealth of experience the new BMA head brings to the position. The maritime sector is a major contributor to the local economy. On the legislative end, it is involved in the formation of a new merchant shipping act aimed at keeping the Bahamas in the forefront. Samsung's marking its 10th anniversary with the Samsung Galaxy branch, and to celebrate, Alive's launched the Samsung 10S and 10S Plus. Here's Samsung consumer and market insight manager Emmanuel Mallard. We are celebrating one billion uh, Galaxy devices sold worldwide. That's an important milestone for us, and uh, it represents the dreams, the uh, passion of all of our customers worldwide, including the customers of uh, the Bahamas. And as a company, we are committed to offer 
the innovation in every product we define, we design. And that's one of the main things that we have been taking into consideration to bring the Galaxy S10. So here's the specs. The phone has a 6.1 inch screen size operating on an Android 9 operating system. It has 8 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. It's new Infinity O screen, also a feature of the bigger Galaxy S10 Plus and cheaper Galaxy S10e displaces the front camera, consigning it to a small punch hole in the screen. All the important sensors are tucked behind the phone's vibrant and super AMOLED display. You can find the device at any Alive store. And our final stories are up next. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.